All right, guys, kind of bombed here. Uh, my skill saw that I've had for the last over 20 years, since I was a teenager, finally died over the weekend. Uh, if you've been watching my videos, you know that I've been working on the cabin up in Big Bear. And um, all that plywood that I, I had to take out, I had to cut up. So I was cutting up for firewood. And finally this thing died. I mean, I could tell it was dying because it felt like it was losing power over the last couple weekends. Because, I mean, I've been kind of cutting up wood every weekend when I'm up there. And finally it died. But, um, I mean, I might, I'll, I'll see if I can fix this thing. I'll take it apart and see what I can do. Um, I suspect that it's probably somewhere in the brushes. Because I was getting some heavy sparks in here. Um, I mean, I didn't use this thing a lot. I mean, I did definitely saw it a lot over the last 20 years. But, I mean, this is actually, this was a cheap skill saw back in the day. So, this was this is obviously not a worm drive. And, uh, like, when I bought this thing, I was a broke kid. So, I didn't really, I couldn't afford a worm drive saw. Uh, plus, I mean, I'm not a carpenter. I've always been kind of an IT guy or a lot of mechanics. So, um, yeah, my, I worked as a handyman for a while when I was a teenager, you know you know from like 17 to like my early 20s while I was going to school um, but yeah kind of bummed you know I mean I I've, every single time I go to Home Depot I, I look at those fancy worm drive saws and I want to buy one but I never could justify because I never use it enough to, to buy one but I might have to buy one now but one of the things I like about this saw you don't see anymore no tools are made here in America anymore proudly made in America you know, I wish they would do that again. I wish it would come back. You know, remember like the 80s and 90s when it was, you know, made, everything was made in America? Everything had a Made in America sticker? Even there, Made in the USA. You can see that in my light. Made in the USA. So, kind of a bummer. I mean, I, I felt like it, besides the brushes going out, it felt like there was some kind of a... I don't know if this thing even has ball bearings or if it has like brass bushings. So... It sounded like one of the brass bushings was going out too. So, I'm going to take it off right here. There's a couple of uh, screws. And uh, I'll be back. I'll grab my screwdriver and we'll pull this off and see what's, see what's up with it. See if we can maybe see it. Oh, oh. I'll zoom in so you can kind of see what's up. Alright. Alright, so it's a, it's a T20. This is actually anti tamper proof, so it says TV20. But, alright, see what's on that thing. I should probably unplug it. <laughs> Good idea. Oh yeah, by the way, look at that. Yeah, nothing. It, it was kind of intermittent, so when it would cool down, sometimes it would work. So, but yeah, just last weekend it was, uh, make sure it's unplugged. Just last, when it finally died on me. But yeah, I mean, I definitely knew something was going on over the last couple weekends, just because it was, uh, it was getting weaker and weaker, you know. I was, it would cool down, then it would get its power back, and then, you know. All right. That'd be cool if I could saw it. I don't even know what that is. Alright, so there are the brushes right there. I don't know what that is. I'm error. Okay, that's just like some little kind of thing that goes in there. Put that like that. Alright, so. Okay, so I don't think that's even necessary to get on there. All right, I'm gonna get my little, little pick here and see if I can see what's up with these brushes. Okay, it doesn't look like there's any spring tension. All right, so definitely it seems like it's brush related. This one, I need to get some better light in here. Oh my God. But this one right here, can't see it from far away. This spring tension seems like it's not enough to put on this side right here. So I gotta figure out what's up with the spring there. This spring, seems better here. So this one seems like the brush is fine on that side. This one, what's up with the spring? See the spring in there? See, it's just kind of loose in there. Hmm. I wonder if I can pull this plastic thing out here. Yeah, see that right there? There's really, there's no spring tension pushing this brush against the, uh, the thing there. I 
So well, let me show you some real quick, a theory of mine here. I'm going to plug it back in. And don't do this at home, guys. <laughs> I guess I'm kind of a crazy dude. See that right there? I wonder if this is a. Uh, that's a lot of dust in there. All right, guys. This is definitely a low budget one. You, know, you can tell just because. This is why I suspect it because the way it sounded. It's not. It doesn't even have ball bearings. Let me unplug it again. Make sure I'm not like, shocked here. Um, it doesn't even have ball bearings. It's basically a brass bushing. So that's super super low ball. Yeah, I suspect it was like, it sounded like it was metal on metal contact. You know, as it was slowing down, I, I could hear it kind of gripping. So I probably will end up lubricating. If I can fix it, I, mean, I'll, I'll, I don't know. I've been looking at one of those Makita worm drive. But I'll go to Home Depot and I'll look and see which was saw, see if there's any saws that are made in America anymore. You know, check Rigid, Makita, DeWalt, Skill, Milwaukee. See if any of those are made in America anymore. So, Alright, so let me if I can get that off there. Up. All right, so this thing just came off. It just popped right off, straight up this way, the brush holder. And you can see the spring is just kind of, kind of jacked. I'm gonna try to stretch it out and see if I can get some more tension on it. You know. I don't want to get too crazy with it. Get back in there. Okay, so then my brush some seemed to come out and it's all burnt up right there. So well, I don't know if you guys can see that. It's all kind of burnt up. I don't even know if you saw me stretching the spring. <laughs> okay, there we go. So I'm trying to get this thing so it's going to put more tension on there. Alright. Alright guys, I tried to fix the brush. You probably can't see it from there, but I got the spring tighter, but the only problem is the brush is so burnt out. The cord that's in there that connects it is preventing this thing from Dad? going all the way out. Dad? So. Dad? Alright guys, let me know what you do. So, I looked up on Amazon and, and the brushes are 12 bucks. So, if I replace the brushes, this thing would be fine. As long as there's no melt, it's a little bit melted there. So, but I could probably fix that. Um, I just don't like the fact that this is a non-ball bearing saw you know brass bushing so I'd obviously have to lubricate those things but I don't know if I should put the twelve dollars into this thing get this thing fixed you know, made in the USA or buy one of those name brand Chinese saws now so you know Makita DeWalt so I haven't checked them all yet but they're all made in China now so I don't know let me know what you guys would do so I'm not sure what to go here awesome